I would say that it is a, a time of real magic when I get to immerse myself in her. And uh, she sprang from the pen of Genji Cohen with such vividness and I think uh, verisimilitude that all I really have to do is let go. And that's in fact what I do do and look forward to doing. A lot of them do have a difficult time with their mothers on the outside. And this thing becomes very private, very isolated, very intimate, very quickly, prison. Uh, I've been there the longest. I know the score. I know the game. And I still have a, a, a enough steel in me to, to assure them that I will, I will be loyal to them. I will be a constant for them while they're in prison. So I choose them accordingly. And I have rules. And if you break the rules, then you're no longer my daughter. Unfortunately, I had to enforce one of those rules uh, in season one, which was heartbreaking, certainly to the victim, but very hard for me, very hard for me, but it has to be cut if it's not being, uh, if it's not being honored. If somebody says to me on the outside, Kate, this cooking really sucks, I'm not really gonna send them a tampon sandwich. Do you know what I mean? I understand that that hurts my feelings and all that. It shows you how high the stakes are in prison. Red equates her food with herself, the quality of her being. To be insulted like that at the very beginning by this, by this novice, by this little wasp, right? This upper middle class girl who's never known a day of hardship. To be insulted like that after 12, 13, 14 years of, of trying to rise above it really cuts me to the quick. So I give her the, the symbol of, you know, of despair. And as we all know, women, that's a tampon and a sandwich. It's relatability. I think women get tired of the standards that Hollywood continues to impose on our beauty, on how we should look, on how we should behave, on what is sexually desirable, on what it is that men want. Finally, this is a series about us. It's the complexity of our natures, our longing to love, our absolute dire need for intimacy under whatever circumstances, and the more harrowing, actually, the more challenging. It's an exploration of women at their very best and at their very worst and at their most genuine. What could be better than that? These are actresses, of, you know, uh, not only of great repute, but they, they're, they're fearless. Uh, and for some reason, they're all adding in, uh, some sort of element of, of imperative. Each one of them is imperative to the stew, to the final recipe, which is so delicious, I think. B, let me preface this by saying, is play, being played by the great actress, Lorraine Toussaint, whom I've known for years. We worked together when we were young actresses. Uh, she's only gotten deeper, better. And she's frightening in the, in the role of B, uh, and is meant to be. I realize that there is no limit to her evil. And her evil uh, shows itself in all of the chilling ways that true evil does. Not evil on the nose, but evil that is meant to truly disable you. And everything that makes you, you. So we come at each other like this. Fans are curiously quite respectful of me. So they seldom say silly things to me. It's, the, it's, it's usually very nice, Miss Mulgrew, may I shake your hand, or may I have a photo, or... Uh, and, but the men, I, I get a lot of men who lie. They, they always say that their wives are great fans of mine. And then they start to enumerate certain things they've seen in all the scenes. And I say, it's interesting. Did your wife tell you everything about every scene in that entire season? Or are you my fan? I don't know where this is coming from. Probably from that miscreant, Natasha Leon, who likes to smear my reputation. Yeah, well, you should be in a scene with her because it's impossible. But what I've learned to do over the years, my dear, is I can laugh until I cry, until they say action, and then 
I let the other ones suffer. <laughs>